Members, we've had some very, very contentious bills put forth. What does DEI really mean? Diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's not just about color, it's about other things also. Women, special needs people, people that are different from ourselves, people with different languages. There was a reason that DEI programs became valuable to universities. I don't believe there's one university who has talked about or being against DEI. We, we, we've done a lot of government overreach, telling folks what they need to do, how to run their businesses, how they run their universities, how they run their households, their medical. I thought we were an institution that really is trying to reduce government intrusion and make sure that people have an opportunity to make their decisions. I hope we can get back to that. One of the things that I became, when I became a legislator was to really try to focus on where we can help and build people up and not continue to step into issues that are individual issues, not us as a government body. Our role as legislators are to set big picture policy to help guide and direct our society. Our society needs us to be innovative thinkers, to be big thinkers, to be individual who knows that we are legislators who care about everybody. In 1970s, when I graduated from college, I was hired because of programs that actually intentionally and deliberately sought out people who were different from the establishment. When I was hired as a timekeeper, I was told at that time, we need a promotable black. What, those were the words that were said. And I felt, well, anything to give me an opportunity that I'd like to try. I rose to a high level in Ford Motor Company because of that, because I was given a chance. And so sometimes there are those folks that need that chance. We do not want to preclude others. All we're asking is for individuals to be treated with equal credentials, equal experience and abilities to be given an opportunity. We do our children an injustice when we don't create environments that they can meet people other than folks who look like themselves. My college roommate, who was an Anglo female, had never seen a black person before. And that was interesting to me. But it was important to her and to us to communicate with each other. That was important. What I don't want us to do is take a piece of legislation, make it worse, or step away from our mission. And our mission as legislators is truly, truly to look at big picture and what we can do for the best interest of the great state of Texas. Not just for our individual selves, not for partisan division. We cry together, we pray together, we hold each other up in times of need. Let's do that all the way through. Let's not be fake about it, but let's be real about it. Let's make the hard calls. Let's be honest with ourselves in terms of what we must do to protect all of our institutions and make sure that all of our young people are exposed to different cultures, different nationalities, and people who just don't look like themselves. As an educator, I never looked at any of my children as Hispanic, black, white, or Asian, or indifferent. I looked at them as God's children, children who needed my help, who needed our help, and who we needed to educate. And that was important to me. So members, as you think about it, put your big boy pants on. Ladies, put your big girl dress on. Let's make the right decision. Let's 
look at what we need to do as an important body. For those much is given, much is expected. And sometimes you've got to go against the grain, but you've got to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Thank you.